Well guys, if you have a Motion Array subscription, I'm stoked to announce that we just updated our plugins and there's some awesome additions that I can't wait to share with you. Now there's 58 plugins that come at no additional cost to your existing membership. And I'm gonna be showing you guys just a couple of my personal favorites and some unique ways to use them so that you can get the most out of them. But let's not waste any more time. Let's just start it off with number one, split screen masking. If you've ever tried to create a custom split screen effect before, you've probably been pretty frustrated. It's a lot of manual placing and creating different pieces and then keeping track of everything and what layer different effects are. Ah, it's a nightmare. But with this plugin, just stack the footage you want all to be included within the split screen. And then on the top layer, add the split screen masking effect and you're able to choose how many split screens you want. You can choose from some pre-existing presets of some already awesome looking compositions and then just select what footage you want to be placed in what location. It makes it super easy for you to quickly test out what looks good in what orientation and in what order. Repositioning all these clips is super easy and you can even animate changes over time by adding some keyframes to any of these parameters. And even though I showed you guys how to do that inside of After Effects, this plugin is also available for Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro X. Next up, we have Super Glow. And if you're like me, you really don't like the default glow options inside of Premiere Pro. And you usually end up creating multiple different duplicates, blurring multiple layers below the original in different amounts to get just the look that I want. But the super glow effect has a great look right out of the box and is really customizable. Even setting a radius to like 100 and a power to 15% gives you just a beautiful, subtle, luxurious glow. But you can increase the spread if you want to to give it a more blown out look. But what's really cool is that you can add color to the edges of the blur and choose how much it's blended with the original. But maybe the coolest part is that you can independently control the X and the Y axis strength of the glow, meaning that you can go from this to this in one click. Ridiculous. And I haven't even gone over the fact that you can add chromatic aberration and film grain to this effect literally with one click checkboxes. And I've just been playing around with these settings while showing you, but we've gone from this to this completely accidentally just by playing around with the settings. It's that easy to make really cool customizations. And when you end up with something that you like like this, I'm actually just gonna save it as a preset so that the next time I wanna use this exact effect, all I have to do is drag and drop it onto my new piece of text. I love it, but since I mentioned it just a second ago, there's also an entirely separate plugin just for film grain. We all love adding film grain to our videos. It's that final little layer of polish, that extra little push to bump it over the edge. And now with this plugin, it's even easier to get the look that you're going for. Just add this effect to your footage or to an adjustment layer over top of your entire composition. And that's it, no blending or anything needed. Plus you can also select between eight millimeter, 16 millimeter or 35 millimeter film grain make it monochromatic, and then just adjust the strength to make it more subtle or more in your face. And if you still did wanna to choose to blend it differently with your footage, you can do that too, like setting it to screen or overlay, and then just dropping down the opacity of your whole adjustment layer. You've really got a lot of options, but the key is that if you wanted to change something, you don't need to drop in an entirely new film grain layer and adjust everything again. You just need to change one setting and then you're done. And now this is probably the plugin that I'm most excited to start using, and that's Auto Volumetrics. Have you ever seen shots where you have light beams scattered throughout the frame? That's only possible if you filmed on set with fog or haze to give the lights something to bounce off of. But if you didn't film with fog on set, then there's no way to add it in post unless you use something like this. Basically, it just takes the brightest source of light in your image and projects light rays from that direction. And you can change the source position of the light, which in turn changes the direction of the light rays. And you can adjust the color for a more realistic look, or you could go completely overboard with something totally extreme. And your footage actually reacts to the light beams. So you've got somebody here who's moving around in the frame and they're actually casting the light rays differently depending on how they're moving. And you could even change the blend mode to impact exactly how the light is interacting with your scene. Or again, you could go for something totally unique, like what would happen if you set the blend mode to darken and then gave it negative light rays, shadow rays. Like there's a crazy amount of stuff that you can do with this. And now the final thing is actually not a plugin, but it's where they're all located. Now, normally I wouldn't be this excited about a hub interface, but this shows you exactly what plugin is available for which software. And if you click on one, you'll get a tutorial showing you exactly how to use that plugin. All 58 plugins have their own dedicated tutorials so that you can start getting the most out of every single one. I've left a link in the description below for you to check out. So give them a try and I can't wait to see you in the next video.